In this video, we're going to prove that every p group has non trivial center. Recall that a p group is a group whose order is a power of a prime, so proof. We'll start by assuming that we have a p group. So suppose G is a p group. Say that it has uh, order p to the n, where p is prime, and n is greater than 0. To prove this, we're going to use the class equation. So by the class equation, by the class equation, we can write g, the order of g rather, is equal to the order of the center plus, then we have the order of g divided by the order of the centralizer of a sub 1 plus dot 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 plus the order of g divided by the order of the centralizer of a sub k. All right, let's pause a moment and talk about what uh, these guys are. So recall that we can write the order of g that's equal to the index of the centralizer of a sub i in g times the order of the centralizer of a sub i. And so if we divide both sides by the order of the centralizer, we get that the order of g divided by the order of the centralizer is equal to the index of the centralizer of a sub i in g. And what is this? This is the order of the conjugacy class of a sub i. And in particular, uh, this conjugacy class has order greater than 1. So this is the order of the conjugacy class of a sub i. And this is a number bigger than 1, right, by the, by the class equation. So this equation here it tells us that the index is a divisor of g, which is p to the n. This knowledge here from the class equation tells us that the index is a number greater than 1. So this is a number, it's bigger than 1, and it divides p to the n. So this is a power of a prime, right? So this is a power of a prime. So we can write what we have over here as p to the n equals the order of the center of g plus, and these are all powers of primes. So this is p to the r1 plus dot 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 plus p to the rk. So now we're done, right? p divides this, p divides this little guy, p divides this, it divides everything in between, therefore p must divide the order of the center. So we have a prime number, and it's dividing the order of the center of our group. So that means that the order of the center of our group is not equal to 1, in particular it's bigger than 1. So the centralized, the center is uh, non-trivial, right? Uh, and that's it. That's how you prove that every p-group has non-trivial center. But you do have to know uh, that this is a number bigger than 1. And that follows from um, the fact that it's the order of the conjugacy class of a sub i. And uh, in the class equation, we specifically mention that uh, these are the conjugacy classes with size bigger than 1. So it's a number bigger than 1. It divides p to the n. So it must be a power of a prime. So these are all powers of primes. So p divides all of these guys. It divides this. Therefore, it must divide the order of the center. And that's it. I hope that made sense.